A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It's never being too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It's never going to sleep angry. It's standing together and facing the world. It's speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It's having the capacity to forgive and to forget. It's giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It's a common search for the good and the beautiful. It's not marrying the right person, it's being the right partner. So I never thought I'd be standing here at the altar ever in my life getting married. I thought I'd be single my whole life. But then I met you. And I remember almost two years ago, the day Allie and Lane got married, I was waiting at the elevator in the hotel. And the doors opened and it was just packed with people. But of all the people in the elevator, the only person I saw was you. And my heart stopped. <laughs> I couldn't move. I couldn't even say a word, which is rare for me. I just stood there looking like an idiot, like normal. And I knew at that moment that there was something about you that I didn't know or why, but I knew you would change my life. And you have. You always make me want to be a better man. You're the only person that can calm me down. You put up with my crap, which is tough. Daily. Yeah, and you let me be myself, which is also tough. And you love me for me. And you also build blanket forts in the living room so we can play video games all day. <laughs> So that's a big deal. <laughs> You're the best part of my life, the most beautiful woman in the world, and I certainly don't deserve you. But I'm going to spend the rest of my life trying to be the man that you deserve. You're my best friend, the love of my life. And I swear to love you more fiercely every day than I did the day before. <laughs> so in true Brody style, he stole five of my lines. Mine was first. <laughs> Um, mine's a lot shorter. Uh, for the past two years, you have been so supportive and so caring and more loving than I could have ever hoped for. I am so lucky to get to marry such an amazing man and handsome at that. Uh, I can't talk. <laughs> um, I can truly call you the love of my life and my partner in crime. I promise a lifetime of silliness movie nights, and late night gaming sessions. I will do my best to conceal my, conceal my stinky farts under the covers <laughs> and remember to stinky. put away my hair straightener, but I make no promises. <laughs> you are the very best thing to ever happen to me, and I am so incredibly excited to experience this world with you by my side. I don't think that there is anything that we can't conquer because we are such a great team. I vow to love you just as fiercely in 10 years as I do right now, if not more. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you <laughs> sweet. Being Brody's older brother, I have been there since the beginning. Since the doctor slapped him on the ass to get him to cry, <laughs> he's always been there for me. Always. He's my brother. We have shared so many adventures and so many memories. I remember the day Brody met Kate and the conversation that we had afterward. <laughs> Brody described Kate as being this amazing, beautiful, smart young lady. And I thought to myself, what the hell is he doing with you? <laughs> My second thought was, uh-oh because the way Brody had described Kate, I knew that Brody loved Kate from first sight. Absolutely. Marriage is not looking for somebody to live with, but it's looking for someone that you cannot live without. So to Brody and Kate, congratulations. I think the best thing you can do is find a person, oh my gosh. <laughs> I think the best thing you can do 
is find a person who loves you for who you are. Uh, good and bad, ugly and pretty, or handsome in his case. Um, the right person is still going to think the sun shines out of your ass. Um, I know that's what you guys have found in each other. Um, that's the kind of person we're sticking with. Um, I wish you guys... Um, all the happiness, and I'm so excited to share in your adventure. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>26 years ago, Joyce and I brought this little bundle of joy home from the hospital. <laughs> and Joyce thought my dog was going to eat her. <laughs> and turned out to be her best friend. Um, <sighs> sorry, I'm trying to make this short, guys. So, um, today marks another one of those joyous days. Today has been a day of great joy and sadness. Sadness for losing a daughter to a man that I find to be a new son and a new brother for Sam and Hannah and a new son for Joyce. Joyce and I could not be more proud of the woman that we see sitting before us today. She has blossomed into this beautiful, strong, and courageous woman, ready to move forward on her own, bring adventure with a young man that I have grown to love and respect. These two complement each other in too many ways to sit here and describe to you tonight. But there is a meeting of two minds two hearts, and two souls. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in toasting the bride and groom, Kate and Brody Wright, to a lifelong happiness together. Yeah.